Folks, we haven't done this for a while, but it is time to go through all the attachments that we sell that'll fit the Summit TX25. I want to start getting back into a rhythm of doing this with different tractor models out there. It helps, well, it just helps make things a lot easier for you guys when you're trying to get a recommendation on what works. You can reach out to the forums and out there, I think you're going to get a lot of varying opinions on what will and what won't work. And some of that is going to be situation or application um, specific, I guess. And it could be dependent on if you're flat on flat ground or on hilly ground, uh, maybe the elevation that you're at. There's other factors that come into play, but I'll say that I tend to be conservative. I don't want to sell you something that might work pretty good or maybe work like it's supposed to 70% of the time and then 25, 30% of the time, you're gonna really struggle with it. I think that that's a bad situation to be in and ineffective. A good example of this, and I'm thinking about this uh, in regards to the John Deere 1025R, is can I use a 60 inch lamp plane? That is one of the really common things that comes up on there because the 48 inch lamp planes, well, this is a 48 inch lamp plane right here. Basically nobody manufactures those with the shanks on them. And so the 60 inch and larger are gonna have the shanks on there, which everybody thinks that they want. And I don't really ever use those shanks for the applications that I am using either a box blade or a lamp plane for, but I know that other folks will. Um, you'll see 60 inch lamp planes used out there on the 1025R. I've used them as well, but I've bogged down too many times to be, it, it's, it's frustrating, it's annoying. And so I don't recommend the 60 inch, even though it will work, a chunk of the time on your 1025R, it's not gonna work basically all the time. And I don't think that I can strongly recommend something that's gonna work three quarters of the time. That's just not a good use of your money. I wanna sell you something that you can use all the time. So I'm gonna go through our website and just go through our attachments, give you a really quick rundown of all the attachment sizes that will work for the Summit TX25 based on how I would sell and how I would recommend something to you to set you up for success. All right, so going through this list, I want you to remember that we sell and ship attachments all over the country. That's what our business is. I mean, we make these videos to show you about the attachments, but the actual bread and butter are packing up and shipping out attachments all over the country, right to your house. So we're gonna fly through this. So the, the red Spico E-Hitch is gonna work great on this tractor. You can use either the Mini or the HD Stump Bucket. We've shown you both. I like to say if you're a conservative operator, you'll be okay using the HD bucket. If you're hard on your tractor, then the Mini is actually gonna protect your tractor more by keeping it more compact and less likely to twist anything. Suitcase weights, a great option. Go with the 70 pound weights if you're gonna get those, put them on the hitch hangers or on the Versa bracket. 60 inch to Thatcher is a perfect fit. I would go with the ultralight pallet forks and SSQA or skid steer quick attach. Select SSQA for anything that goes on the front end loader. The 62 inch Del Marino Funny Top is the perfect match for flail mowers. Stick with a 48 inch lamb plane or a 48 inch box blade either way. When it comes to snow pushers, get the HLA 1500 series and the 54 inch. It's gonna be a perfect fit. Can't say enough good about this attachment. We've made so many videos on it. Check out why a snow pusher is our preferred snow removal attachment. Landscape rake, you could go either 60 inch or 72. Bear in mind with an attachment like a rake where you can tilt it and angle it, it's going to get narrower as you angle it, okay? So you have to have something wider than your tractor in order to still cover the width of your tires when it is angled. On a brush hog, I would stick with a 48 inch. I think the 48 inch tillers are a perfect fit. We now have the Dirt Dog 48 inch tiller, but we still have some Oregon and some ideal tillers in stock as well, all relatively around the same price point, all very good tillers made in America with US and imported parts. The trailer movers are great. You can get one from uh, Oregon trailer mover, or you can get our Versa bracket. That's gonna be a trailer mover slash weight bracket slash chain hook slash all sorts of stuff combination tool there. Uh, those are quick hitch compatible and just cat one compatible. And so while some of these tools are a great way to add weight to your tractor, Summit does come with something right inside these tires here. Well, let's tell you more about it now. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, 
It helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. Several grapples available. The, the WorkSaver SCG uh, 48 is gonna be a good one. Uh, Precision has a big mouth mini 322 that is gonna be a good fit. And then Ironcraft, perhaps the best value out there are gonna be their economy grapples. Um, pretty cheap, they are a little bit heavier than the Precision or the WorkSaver, but this tractor can handle that extra weight. It's gonna have a lot of lift capacity on the loader and you're gonna save a buck too going with Ironcraft. And again, those are made in the USA. All of the Ultratech trailers are gonna work with it, whether it's a single or a double axle. Just hook that up to a trailer mover like the Versa Bracket. I would go with a 60 inch rear blade if you're gonna go with one of those. That's just the flat rear blade that angles. As far as aerators go, the, the pluggers that are great for uh, fall or spring, you can do it once or twice a year. I would stick with either a 48 or a 60 inch on there. And that kind of tool you can add on uh, suitcase weights so you can Put those, lay those in the tray of the aerator, get extra weight for down pressure, but then reuse those suitcase weights for ballast weight and other applications. As far as spreaders go, you can either use the Ag Spray electric spreader on there or the Befco PTO spreaders that are gonna be quick hitch compatible as well. Just depends if you wanna go electric, which has that nice control to adjust the, the width of the spread pattern. Um, the Befco are gonna be more traditional style, but they are gonna spread your seed, your fertilizers, we'll even do sand and salt as well. For a pulverizer, I would stick with a 48 inch. We do have the single and the double roller. The double roller seems to be in more high demand. With a Colta Packer, you can get by with a 60 or a 72 inch even uh, on those. They don't put a lot of resistance on the tractor. They just kind of roll along, so very nice. We showed a pull type snowblower on this tractor last winter. Stick with the 54 inch on there, gonna be a great fit. If you're thinking about a loader mounted snowplow, again, SSQA, go with a 60 inch that will cover the width of your machine, even when angled. If you wanna put a finish mower on the back of your tractor, you can go with the 60, well, you could even do the 48 if you wanted to with 60 or the 72 inch will be right in your wheelhouse. We've shown you the add a gravel on the bucket as well. That is a very handy and a cheaper, probably the cheapest way, even cheaper than the, uh, the other Ironcraft grapples, but you can add that on. You do have the third function already standard on the Summit TX25, so a great way to convert your bucket into a grapple as well without having to invest in a separate tool. If you don't like the idea of tilling, you can get the Dirt Dog Disc Harrow. I would recommend the 100-1 or 100-4 model, so about the four to five foot widths, they vary depending on how you have those discs angled. If you're gonna get a plow, you need a single bottom plow. We used Iron Crafts, we had great success, but it is a strain for a tractor with this much horsepower and this much weight. Nevertheless, you can get the job done, at least in soil like we had. Check out the video plowing with the Summit if you're interested. For the post hole diggers, a very popular item that we sell, you can either get them through Oregon or through WorkSaver, but you're going to want to go with the smallest size. The reason for that, number one, the gearbox on there is just rated for that uh, type of horsepower, but also the actual augers themselves are six inches shorter. And so these smaller tractors, I mean, just it's just physics. They don't lift as high on the three-point hitch, and so they can't get the longer augers off the ground. That's where the shorter ones come into play. The Ag Spray three-point sprayers are gonna work just fine on here. Uh, plenty of lift capacity on this tractor to lift up anything on that three-point hitch. The Dirt Dog Bale Spear will fit right on here. Get the SSQA version of that. And then the thing sitting right above me that we don't sell, but our sister company sells, the Rhino Hide Canopy. I think it's an absolute perfect match on this tractor. Super lightweight, so you can easily take it on and off for transportation or storage. Very rugged, you hit a tree limb, this thing is not just gonna break like those fiberglass and steel uh, canopies out there that bend and get mangled and everything else. So get yours from tractorcanopy.com. So folks, that'll do it. A good rundown there of the attachments that are gonna work really well for you and the Summit TX25 tractor. It's really getting a foothold. They're expanding where they're available for sale really soon. If not, maybe now when you're watching this video, you can buy them right online and have them delivered to you. So kind of blowing up there. So it's a good thing. And now you know the attachments that are gonna go along with it. If you're still having trouble deciding or you have additional questions, feel free to send us an email. We're happy to get back to you. If you have a different tractor and you're not sure what to get, let us know. We'll pick out the right size for you based on 
the years of experience we've been doing it with other folks. We get a lot of great feedback. And if you have some of these tools already on your tractor, we want to see pictures of it. So shoot us over some pictures too. Maybe we'll use it in some marketing. If you enjoyed today's video, well, we have over 700 other videos out there now as well. Most of them showing you tractors and tractor attachments in action. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.